Hello, I'm Claudia Eisenman, and welcome to California Up Now. We are a show dedicated to the news and the topics and the events that make our Golden State great. Our guest today is Alex Randolph, and Alex is a trustee on the board of the San Francisco Community College, and he's running for re-election. Hi, Alex. Hi, Claudia. Thank you so much for having me. We are delighted to have you. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. You seem like such a young guy to have such an important position. I get that a lot. I'm definitely one of the youngest uh, community college trustees, not only in the state, but the country. When I always go to conference and meet others, they always end up thinking that I'm the student trustee rather than the actual trustee. But <laughs> it's, it's been a very important and exciting experience to be on the board here in San Francisco for the past 18 months. You know, I've, uh, I'm a former community college student myself. Uh, I know I wouldn't be here today serving at City College or even being in San Francisco without my start in community college. You know, both of my working class parents never had the opportunity to go to college, so education was always very, very important in my family. And I was very excited when I moved here at 16 down in San Diego and I worked uh, two jobs and three years of hard work, I was able to transfer to UC Berkeley. So uh, being on the board here at City College during this very critical time uh, it really, really allows me to not only connect with the students that we serve on a daily basis, but actually make the decisions from the perspective of someone who's benefited from community college in the state uh, quite tremendously. Great. Now, uh, we have something going on called the California College Promise. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Yes, I think it's, it's a very important and exciting time for community colleges, uh, not only uh, in San Francisco, but around the state of California and even, even the United States. I was very excited when President Obama uh, made uh, community college one of his top priorities in his State of the Union speech, where he said that you know community college should actually be free. You know, access to higher education is very, very important during a right, time. We're talking about free tuition. Oh by no, the way. free tuition, <laughs> and uh, you know, at a time where where college tuitions are exploding around the country and working class uh, you know families are no longer able to really afford sending uh, their kids to college I know you have two mm -hmm. two in college right now uh, you know the state of California is willing uh, happy to go on record I mean the governors on board to make sure that we as a state you know invest in community colleges and make sure that people who should be going to college and who want to go to college have the opportunity to. And I think it's going to be a, a tremendous impact on our economy to make sure that people continue to have access to higher education. Okay, um, and San Franciscans will have the opportunity to do that with Proposition W, right? Yes, so this, this year it's going to be very, very exciting for, for San Francisco. We're going to have something like uh, Proposition W on the ballot. It's a real estate transfer tax for, for uh, uh, transfers over $5 million. And part of that uh, income and revenue uh, that the city will be collecting will be going to make City College free for uh, people living in San Francisco and people working for, for the city, the college, and the school district. So I think this is a very exciting opportunity for San Francisco to be at the forefront of higher education accessibility and uh, make City College free again, like it used to be before 1984. Okay, well, uh, let's talk about that freebie in just a moment, but we're gonna take a break and we'll come right back. Book your wedding day with us, Salon DNA, 415-956-1909. Welcome back to California Up Now. We are chatting today with Alex Randolph. He's a trustee on the City College Board in San Francisco, and we're talking about free tuition. And uh, tell us, Alex, who is tuition free for? Sure, well, this is uh, first. If, if Proposition W passes, if, sorry. If the voters vote and approve, which I hope you will do, uh, Proposition W this November, uh, it's going to be free for San Francisco residents and currently for people who are going to be working for the city, uh, the school district, or, or, or city college. And do you have to maintain a certain grade point average in high school to qualify, or is it anybody who... Well, it's anybody in San Francisco, so you don't necessarily have to be a high school graduate. You can be, you know, 60-year-old senior who's a lifelong learner who wants to take a class in Italian, or if you are, um, you know, a 35-year-old who is... Uh, 
coming out of the jail system who's hoping to have a, a rewarding career and a, and a pathway to uh, a job. Um, you can take a vocational training at City College for free. Um, so we don't necessarily limit it just to, to high school students or graduates. Um, and this is all, is part of the push to get free tuition because we are projected to have quite a, a shortfall of graduates by 2030. Is this part of the push to get uh, yeah. more people graduated? It's part of it. I mean, it's, it's very important to the economy to have um, people uh, get a college degree. You know, it used to be that a high school degree was everything you needed in order to get a good paying job. That's no mm -hmm. longer the case in this competitive industry, especially in tech, healthcare, and, and business and finance. Uh, sure. So a, a community college degree, an AA degree, you know, K through 16 now, is almost the new benchmark of for you to have a, a rewarding career in today's society. So I think San Francisco wants to be on record to make sure that everybody who wants to go to college has an opportunity to go to college and not be burdened by student loans and student debt. Uh, one of the exciting things about Proposition W is that you know 75% of our students already get college for free mm -hmm. in San Francisco. But mm -hmm. you know it's more than just tuition or fees. Right. It's the decision whether you're going to buy a textbook, whether right. you um, you know buy a muni pass in order to get to your classes, or you pay rent at the end of the month. So we want to make it make it easier for our students with an up to a thousand dollar stipend if you're a full time student um, to get that in addition to just um, you know paying for your classes. Wonderful. Uh, it sounds like a good plan. Uh, let's talk a little bit now about um, City College, San Francisco City College. There was a little bit of an issue with the accreditation. Yeah. Tell us about that. Well, not everything was caused by us. I mean, there are definitely areas that, that we can always improve uh, in regards to our governance and, and, and management structure, the way that we spend some of our uh, taxpayer revenues that we, we use to govern and, and, and actually keep the college open. Uh, the, the good thing is that our uh, faculty and our academic standards were never in question. You know, we have a high quality uh, faculty and we have one of the best educations you can get in the Bay Area and in the state and we are known for that. It's just that there were definitely certain issues that, that we didn't do well in that we needed to address, but it never rose to the level of actually closing down one of the largest community colleges uh, and the most diverse community colleges in the country. And actually you see that, that our accrediting commission itself is now under uh, investigation and under right. scrutiny, not only by the state who's looking and changing our accreditor, but also the Department of Education has a lot of concerns with our accreditor. Um, so I think a lot of it was also politically motivated because they didn't believe in the actual community college model of us educating and being open for all kinds of students, mm -hmm, you know, from mm -hmm. seniors to people coming out of the jail, from immigrants who come to City College to get, you know, ESL training or get a citizenship pathway uh, opportunities. Uh, and I think our creditor and some other in the for-profit industry uh, are really more focused on getting people in and out either with a, with an associate's degree or getting them transferred to a four-year college. But City College is more than that. Um, so we are very, very excited to be able to continue that. But I want to make sure we, we were never uh, closed, we never lost our accreditation, and uh, we are still open for a lot of the students that want to come to City College. Great. All right, Alex. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, and uh, we wish you the best of luck in your election. Thank Next you so month, much. Vote for Alex. Thank you so much. It was great talking to you today, <laughs> and uh, support your community college in California. All right, and thanks for watching California Up Now. You can like us on Facebook, and you can also send in questions. We'll be happy to answer them. See you next time.